Well, the date is December 27th, 2021, and we are snowed in in Todd Valley. Got quite a bit of snow last night. Knocked our power out. Barely got any service. It's going to be a fun one. too cold in here. Um, yeah, gopher snake will be fine. 64 degrees in here, so it's cold, but as long as it doesn't dip below 60 for too long, everybody should be fine. Um, well, we got coffee going and heating up some chili for lunch. <laughs> Everything else is electric, so. Yeah. You can do it. Give it. Give it. So back in the reptile room. Um, normally I'd have some heat packs on hand for my generator working. But uh, luckily we have a fireplace here. Uh, this room is in further back in the house, so we have to we'll have to come in here and make sure all the temps are okay. So we're just in case we have to bring somebody out near the fire. As you can see, Ty's utilizing the blankets that are warmed up near the fire. It's pretty though, huh? What do you think, Panda? Well, it looks like it's trying to snow again. Some little popcorn snow. Nothing too crazy. Well, now I'm gonna go work on my prototype, this new reptile cage. So stick around. Much love. All right, December 28th, 2021. Uh, it looks like we didn't get much snow last night, which is good. They also plowed our hill here. Might be able to get out today. Um, we had to bring a couple of the reptiles out into the living room. Like we had a big branch or a tree fall on the neighbor's place. A lot of trees going down. All right, so even with chains, we're unsuccessful in getting out of here. Um, sun is shining. Hopefully, we can melt some of it. After they plowed, we thought we'd have a chance to get out. But our hill to the main road is really big. So, wish us luck. Well, I was finally able to get out of Todd Valley. I'm uh, headed up towards town now to get some supplies and whatnot. I don't know how long our power's going to be out. Walk over to my dad and Kathy's. Make sure they're okay. <clears throat> now their power's out too. All right, I made it back home for my little supply run. See my dad and Kathy and everything, helping them out. And then now it's time to eat the food. Gotta use the wood stove, you know, that's all we got. So I've been able to keep all the reptiles pretty warm. Pretty stoked on that. Really wish I had my generator working. I'm gonna have to get it over here and start working on that. I don't know how long we're gonna be out of power, and <clears throat> reptiles can't really go that long. Uh, being this cold, or you know, having temperature fluctuations this often, it's generally not good for them. Um, all my cold tolerant animals, like my California king snakes, diamondbacks, and all that other stuff, um, 
they'll be fine. But I'm more worried about the tropical species like the Asian water monitors, black roughneck, and uh, the boas. So they're gonna be out in the living room for the most most of the night, probably all night, and um, just gotta keep them safe and warm. So thanks for watching. Until next time. Yo, what's up, y'all? So it is December 29th. Uh, day three of being snowed in with my reptiles up here in Forest Hill, the Todd Valley. Um, luckily, we got a wood stove, so I've been able to keep everybody fairly warm. And um, I'm getting a little worried because I just heard that maybe over a week before PG&E could come out and fix the power. So today, my mission is to get my generator over here and working so I can keep these reptiles the way they should be keep kept. And um, hopefully everything goes good. Let's go. I'm gonna try to get out of here. Um, it did snow a little bit last night, but I was able to get most of the snow out of my way. So I'm gonna get out of here and try to go get my generator. Let's go. I made it out of the driveway nicely. The roads aren't too bad. I should be able to make it to town, no problem. And uh, to my old place. We'll see how it looks there. See if I can get the generator out of there. Look at that tree knocking down the power lines. Still got a power line in the roadway here. It's hard to see, but just drove over it. All right, we're headed to the hardware store. I gotta get some pull cord for my generator. And then we're gonna go see if we can rescue the generator. More snow. Oh boy. Rescue mission underway. Well, there she is. Hopefully we can get her to work. All right, we got the generator. We're rocking it. Let's go. Part of the mission accomplished. We got the generator over here. Now I just got to assess the situation. Get a new pole string on there and uh, get some fresh gas and some oil. Hopefully get it started. Let's go. Trying to keep our girl Mallory warm. Oh, girl. Hopefully. Can't get the generator started. Um, hopefully I can get it going tomorrow. Um, looking like a long time before we get power back on, so have to get the generator going um yeah the reptiles won't last very long doing it like this so wish me luck so i want to give a shout out to my friend sarah for helping me get the um, generator over here she helped out a lot today um getting a new pole string and everything so shout out to you much love so it's day four uh snowed in with my reptiles with no power uh today we're going to be working on the generator some more i got a friend of mine coming over to get this thing working. Uh, not only do we have food in the fridge that's gonna go bad, we also have reptile food in the freezer that's thawing out. Um, and we also gotta get these reptiles their proper heat. Um, all the ones that aren't cold tolerant, like I said before, are they're out in the living room. And all the other ones that are roommating are in the bedroom. Um, everybody seems to be doing fine. I've been holding off on food for now, obviously, for obvious reasons. We don't want the food just to you know, go bad in their stomach because without proper heat, they won't be able to digest it. Uh, so just water for now and, you know, trying to keep them warm. It's my biggest thing. So stick around. Oh, well, sustained a little damage to the front of the house here. Nothing too major, luckily. Neighbor had a tree fall on their place. Got a hole in the roof. Looks like someone's out trying to assess the situation for us. Might be PG&E, might be CHP, I don't know. Hopefully they're trying to figure out which power lines are down and how they can get to it. We've got a branch right here on this one. <laughs> All right, so we got the generator going. Super stoked on that. Hell yeah, we got it running, bitches. <laughs> it's gonna be a lifesaver. 
for me and the reptiles. It's going to make it a lot easier to keep it con con constant and consistent uh, with the heat. But anyway, let's keep it going. Just got back with more gas for the generator. We should be set for a while. Well, luckily we're not snowed in anymore. We can pretty much go as we please, but the power is still out. Uh, now we got a generator though, thank God. Uh, it makes things a lot easier with keeping the animals happy. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully nothing else crazy happens. But, until next time, y'all have a good one. Peace.